up in the night, she wakes you up and shows shows herself. I was really, really close to my grandma. Yeah, you used to see a lot more when you were younger. Yeah. She used to come to you all the time, and over over the years, you've kind of blocked that a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we'll open that up. Good. <laughs> Thank you. This lady over here with the dark hair and the pattern top. This lady here. Everybody's looking at you. Yes. You're very clairvoyant. Did you know? Yes. yes. You have a lot of dreams. <laughs> yes. You have a lot of dreams, though, right? You get messages through dreams. Yeah. I don't dream a lot, but some people get very clever messages through dreams. Okay, now Claire Audion. Um, Claire Audion are the ones that hear things. Now you don't really hear it. It's not like you hear a spirit, you know, at the back of the room saying something. It's kind of like um, you go to the supermarket and you're thinking, now what did I forget? What did I forget? Uh, oh, toilet paper. Right? It comes like a message like that. I have a funny story about one of my students. They asked the spirit guides if they would tell them when they went to the supermarket, just to remind them anything they'd forgotten. And he's standing there going, okay, spirit guides, what else did I forget? And the toilet paper literally jumped out <laughs> and fell on the floor. And when he went to pick it up, it was angel soft toilet paper. <laughs> so those of you who are Claire audience, you have a harder time, because you're like, oh, I'm making it up. It feels like a thought in your mind. It's very hard to distinguish what is your thought and what is a clairvoyant or clairaudient message. Now, this gentleman here with the blue shirt, you hear things a lot, right? Now, do you get ringing in your right ear? Yes, okay. Ringing in your right ear is spirits going, I'm trying to talk to you, but you're not listening. <laughs> right, so you need to listen a little bit more. The guy with the hat on back there, you're very clairaudient too. You hear things, you get ringing in your right ear as well. You hear voices. Oh, so you actually hear the voices. Horses. Horses. You hear horses. Yeah, well, animals commun communicate in exactly the same way as people do. And when I learn animal communication, I realize that they communicate in exactly the same way spirits do. Once you open to this, you do everything. It's not like, oh, you learn how to do mediumship, you talk to people, and then animals, different. It's all the same thing. Once you open up, you're opening up your whole senses. You could channel healing energy. You can talk with loved ones on the other side. You can get more intuition, more help in your own life, so it helps you to manifest things easier. It's not exactly the same thing. It's not like anybody who's really a medium could do all of it. So when we open up, you'll be able to do all of it. You might find that you like one area better than the other. Okay, who else is ringing in the right ear? Yeah. Yeah, okay. When I got it first, because I'm more clairaudient, I thought I was using my cell phone too much. <laughs> cell phone. I kept going on. Um, so the right ear, because the right side is your more spiritual side, so often you will feel the spirits coming in from the right, and often they're trying to talk to you in your right ear. Occasionally you'll find people that it's the left ear, but mostly it's the right ear. And you'll see sometimes in photos, you'll see a picture of an orb right by their ear, and that's a spirit. How many of you ever get spirit pictures in your uh, in your photos, like uh, pictures of orbs? Do you know what those are? Some people think they're just like uh, dust on the camera, but they've, they've got quite intelligence. Some of, some of them are dust, but some of them you can actually clearly see that when you call in the spirits and you open up and you ask them to come in, you can actually see them around you. And those are your guides, um, but they're also your loved ones that come in. That's why you, they show up at weddings and parties. They've just got pictures of orbs. I say Claire audience. So that's that's me. I'm more Claire audience. I do a little bit of everything, but I'm more Claire audience. So that's my main thing, and that's like a message. So for you, you can have to just say, "I'm not making it up." You know, what's the first thing that pops into my mind, and stick with that. And hopefully, they'll give you something you wouldn't normally think of. Because if they give you something that's a little strange, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like um, you know, in animal communication, I had a dog once. Um, tell me I asked, I was at a very kind of posh party and this lady asked about the dog and I said, what's your favourite treat? Thinking that's kind of easy, right, you know, bone or, you know, some kind of food. And the dog said, mmm, sweaty socks. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get something a little unusual that you wouldn't normally make up, that, that helps a little bit. But a lot of time it's subtle. It's hard to distinguish what's really your own thought and what is other people coming through, what's the spirit coming through. The difference is there's this warm, wonderful feeling. When you're really connected, you feel this amazing, loving feeling. It's like you're feeling a slice of heaven. We raise our vibrational energy. They have to come down a little bit to meet us. And when we get in that zone, it's like we're feeling that little slice of heaven. 
Even if something you didn't really like when they were alive, they weren't very nice. Up there is different. There's that warm feeling that comes through it. So when you guys do this work, it's going to be fantastic. You're going to love it because you get that lovely, ooh, that gooey feeling when they come through. Okay, Claire Sentient. Oh, you poor things now. This lady is very Claire Sentient. You are, a lot of you here at Claire Sentient. Lady in the back in the corner with the dark top on, very shy. Yes, you're very Claire Sentient. The girl in the turquoise over here. You're very Lemurian, by the way. You have Lemurian energy. That's why you like the dolphins and the whales and the water. This lady here in the, in the yellow. Claire Sentient, you guys uh, feel everything. You guys have a difficult time going to somewhere that's crowded because you're like, oh, I feel everything. It becomes overwhelming, right? You're the ones that somebody comes up to you at work and they plant themselves next to you and they go, oh, I have never told anybody in my life this, but I'm going to tell you. And they pour out all the problems, right? Because they know that you draw those people in. You are the helpers of the world and you help people and they're gonna come and share all the problems because you're very sensitive, you're very empathic. But also, you can take something on if you're not careful. If you're gonna be clairsentient, you have to do a lot of protection. And it's as simple as just, you know, when you get up in the morning, just put white light around you. You know, believe in God or angels, just say, I want that protection around me. Because if you don't, what happens is you're too open. And so when you, these people come for help, you're actually absorbing their energy and you're taking it on. And you might feel drained and tired a couple of days later, or you pick up strange um, energies. And not to like scare you or anything, but you can actually pick up uh, entities, attachments. Don't worry, we're gonna do a whole clearing today. We're gonna get rid of anything anybody has. But you know, we all have our stuff. We all have negative energy around us. It's like part of life. We can't go through life would be, you know, uh, some Buddha sitting on a mountain if we, if we had no, nothing, we didn't have any issues. We all have stuff around us, but sometimes it can become overwhelming. And often when people get really, you know, depressed or they have addictions, things like that, it's because they've actually got, you know, energy, either an actual spirit or an energy. Because spirits, the spirits that we're working with are spirits from the white light. That means spirits that have passed over and they've gone the white light. We're not working with ghosts. Or anything scary. Ghosts are, are spirits that um, are still stuck here. Their energy is still stuck here. They haven't actually gone to the white light. But the ones that we're working with are only ones from the white light that you know, we know have very wonderful positive energy. Okay, um, shall I show you some examples of spiritual healing what we're going to do today? All right, who, who would like to volunteer? Did you want to volunteer? Come on. <laughs> Okay, so you're one of my clear sentients, right? So you get a lot of people sharing the problems, okay? But you, you've taken on way, way too much and you've actually got energy around you that's not yours. Um, who's the David in spirit passed over? Uh, I don't have a David, I don't think. I'm trying to think of the David. There is a David. It might be a guy, but I don't think so, so we'll ask a little later. Okay, now, um, right here, you've got some extra energy that you're holding on to from mom. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And so there's been things that have gone on. It wasn't that, it was always almost things she didn't do. Not things that she did, but more like things that she didn't do when you felt like you got left. And you had to be a mom yourself from a very early age. It's like, do you have sister brothers that you had to take care of? Okay. And so there's, there's some resentment that you're holding on to, and there's some hurt feelings, and there's some times where you feel completely like you were left out. Right? And so... That has piled up and you attract more of it. And so people come to you with the same kind of problems. Now at work, you have a lot of people coming to you. So you're in some kind of a job where you're constantly helping people. What do you do? Hairdresser. Yeah. Hairdresser is a very good example of a healer. Right? So you're a natural healer, right? In a good position. Okay, so what I actually want to do is remove some of this energy from here. Um, we're going to try to do a little forgiveness for your mom, but I'm only going to use her as a surrogate. It's going to work on everybody in the room. So anybody that wants to join in, we just uncross our arms and our legs, and we're going to ask the spirits to connect with us and to shift our energy and to shift anybody else's energy here that has any similar issues. We're going to work on this. It's going to help you lose weight. No dieting or exercise. If you want to lose weight, no dieting or exercise. Put your hand right where you'd like to do that. Close your eyes. And we're going to connect him with the spirit world. 
We're going to ask for only beautiful benevolent spirits to come and walk with us. And we're going to think about anything that was starring there that we know about, especially with mom. And you just go ahead and send a little bit of forgiveness. It might be hard to forgive, but just say to yourself, okay, I don't need this experience anymore. It's not, it's not helping me anymore. It's just hurting me, so I'd like to release that. Would you like to release any negative energy there from your energy or anybody else's and to lose weight without diet and exercise? Give me a big yes. Yes. Take a deep breath. One, two, three. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, now I get with you um, overly stressed, overly, you take on so much stuff, it's right here on your heart chakra. And so you've had a lot of worries recently with things going on. You've also been at a big uh, crossroads, is that right? Yes. Yeah. And also sometimes you worry about things, not really sure what you're worrying about, kind of get yourself into, you know, sometimes you get a little bit, um, almost like a panic attack. Sometimes it's, yeah. Okay, so it's not your energy. It's stuff you picked up on other people. Okay, so you don't, you don't hold it really in extra weight, but you hold it right here in your heart. So this is also um, helping other people and taking on things. Um, <coughs> and you've been helping out men particularly recently. Who have you been helping? Is it dad? My husband. Your husband, okay. All right, put your hand over your heart. And what we're going to do here is we're going to release any grief, anxiety, panic, anything like that. Close your eyes, anybody that wants to join in. And we're going to release any energy that is not yours, that's weighing you down. And put a little bit of beautiful white light right there in that heart chakra. Would you like to remove any negative energy from your heart chakra? Give me a big yes. 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 Take a deep breath. One, two, three. Thank you, may hug. Okay, now who's got the very bad back over here? The bad back here. Yeah, the lady over there with the glasses. Come on up. Yeah. Now, we were talking earlier about how um, this chakra here is about finances. So you've had a hard time of it. Have a seat. Um, especially last nine months, some things have gone on financially, and it feels like you are, you almost get there and then you block it. Um, so if any of you have bad backache or you know stress financially, taking on too much will cure that. So if you'd like to be in the flow of money a little bit more, go ahead and put your hand on your back. <laughs> Everybody, put your hand on your back. Both hands on your back. <laughs> And we'll connect him with the spirits, close your eyes, and you give him permission to the spirits to help you out because they don't know if you, you've not asked, so they don't know if you're ready to release this financial stress. Maybe you want a little bit more of it. So let's tell the spirits, we would like to now be in the flow of money, release any lower back pain. Would you like to do that? Give me a big yes. 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 Forward, one, two, three. <sighs> okay, you may hug. Now, your grandma is around you. Very close connection with your grandma and spirit. I think probably more than your mom. Did, you, did she have a big role in, in um, taking care of you when you were growing up? Not really, but she, we were just connected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, well, she just wants to let you know she's around. And uh, pink roses come with her, so I don't know if you put something out for her. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll do one more. Who else wants to come up? <sighs> All right, come on. All right, now, you store your issues right here on this right side. Do you have problems with your right knee and your right hip? Okay. Your right side is not moving forward. Okay, you really have been wanting to do more spiritual work, wanting to do more healing, but you've, you've got this, you feel like, well, I've got to keep doing this. I've got to do this first, I've got to do that first, I've got to take care of everybody else, I need the finances, it's not going to work. So even though he wants to move on spiritually and do that, he's afraid. And that not wanting to move forward but not moving forward is going to affect that right side. So who has right knee problems, right hip problems? 
Yeah, okay, so if that, we're gonna fix that. It will fix any pain in that right side, but also will help you to move forward. So if you know that you're doing that, you're afraid to move forward. Your right side is also, because it's emotional and spiritual, it could be relationships too. So if you know you need to have that little bit of strength to, to move forward in a relationship, that's gonna affect that too. So if you wanna do that, I'm gonna work on this right side. Now also, um, your dad comes through and wants to say, I'm really sorry. He was, it, and part of your issue is because of what he um, kind of instilled in you when you were younger. Um, he wanted you to be a certain way, and he was very rigid. And so you, you're actually always trying to, um, even though he's now passed on, you're always trying to kind of come up to what he wanted. And so, um, so we're just going to let that go. He says, I'm very proud of you, and I love you, and I want to give you a hug, which is something you never would have said before. Is that right? It's true. Wow. And it's a Bob in spirit. Bob, do you know Bob? Not Robert, but Bob. I think it's a friend that passed away. So I have to think about that one. Yeah, do you know that one? It could be. Bob, not, not Robert, right? Yes, yeah, that's him. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to fix this right side. By the way, you might be asking, how does she know when people come up? How do I feel? I feel it in my body. All right, so I'm a little bit less right? I, I had to like learn how to switch that on and off. But clairsentient is when we can actually also use our body. And we can tune into our body because we've got the same parts. So when I was doing Reiki healing, I, I might say, oh, how come you know, I've got a twitch in my hand? Or my arm's kind of weird, or my leg's kind of weird. It wasn't me, it was actually a person I was working on. So I started to realize that they actually show you. So if you open to it, they will show you. And we're gonna do healing today, we're gonna to tune into our body and see what we feel. So as soon as he's, I mean, as soon as I look at him, my, I feel it in my right side. So that's clairsentient. Okay, so close your eyes. Anybody wants to work on this, put your hand on your right hip, your right knee, whatever's bothering you on your right side. And we're gonna to ask to connect in with the spirit world. And we're gonna to ask to release any negative energy, which will help you move forward, release any pain from that right side, give you direction, and help you to move forward in life. Do you wanna do that? Give me a big yes. 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 Deep breath, one, two, three. Okay, wonderful. Give me a hug. <laughs> okay, well, I want to kind of get into this because I want to get you guys going. Now, I have a choice here. I can do an opening. I'm going to open up your psychic senses. So we're going to open up your clairvoyance, your third eye. We're going to open up your, uh, your clairaudience, your hearing. And um, I'm not really going to open up your clairsentience, but I'm going to ask for a little protection so that you can be more open to be clairsentient and then not be worried about taking that on. So I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to do an attunement. So we're going to ask the spirits to come down. Anybody know what attunement is? Anybody had a Reiki, Reiki attunement? Any other kind of attunement? Okay, it's actually, I'm connecting you with the spirit world. So I'm just being the conduit. I'm going to put you in touch directly with the spirit world and they're going to help to open up those senses. So after I do this, you will be, you'll have a deeper connection with whatever you have. So if you're more clairvoyant, you're going to have more of a clairvoyance connection. It's going to be stronger, but we're going to open up all those senses. Now the choice is I can do this as a group or I can bring you up individually. If I bring you up individually, it takes a little bit of time, but it's nicer. Do you want to do it individually? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to ask though of the rest of you is, I'm going to bring you up in groups, and it'll be quite quick. I'm going to do a little attunement on you, and as soon as you have your attunement, you sit back down. The rest of you, the whole time, are going to be in meditation. And this really helps to get the energy and helps everybody in the room. And so I will start you off in a meditation, and then while you're in the meditation, I'll have my friend Vanessa come, and she'll tap you on the shoulder, and you'll come up. You'll, you'll get a quick attunement from me, and as soon as you've had it, you'll go sit back down and, and then close your eyes and try to go back into meditation and try to stay there in meditation because it will help everybody until I've gone through. It's going to take me about 45 minutes. I have a CD, which is some of my meditations I've done. Um, there's four different ones on there. So I'll put that on. I'll probably play through a couple of them, so I'll probably end and start another one. But if you can just bear with us and just try to hold that. We're going to also connect with some of our loved ones in spirit. 
So I want you to work with them and feel their energy and talk to them and talk to your guides while we're doing this. So even though you're helping everybody with this energy, you're also talking to your guides and connecting that. When you come up, I'm going to give you a crystal. So I'm going to put a crystal in your hand. I'm going to put that over your heart. And you're going to take this back to your chair with you and you're going to work with this crystal. These crystals are very special. They came from John of God in Brazil. And John of God had no idea why he was supposed to build his place in Abidjania, which is like the middle of absolutely nowhere. But he did. And after he built his casa, he found out that in the mountains they have these crystals. Millions and millions of crystal caves. And so they sell some of the crystals. And there's two purposes. One, that's the income so that you can go down there and the healing's free. So they get the income from it. But also, they have a certain energy because they're taking that energy. And if you work with crystals already, yeah, so crystals have, oh, they hold energy from wherever they're from. Quartz crystals are the universal healing um, energy because they, are there, they hold universal energy. So you can actually program it with Reiki energy or uh, any kind of good energy. They don't program with negative energy, they only hold the good energy. Um, different stones have different properties, so like a, a green stone, um, like a turquoise or a lama will be good to have around your throat chakra. Um, different ones have different properties. Quartz cross crystals you can use for pretty much anything. And the, these, are the, these are the beautiful John of God crystals. And I have a couple of bigger ones here that we might do a little bit of work with today. The ones that are a little darker are the smoky quartz ones. So anyway, these crystals um, I brought back from John of God in Brazil. And they were blessed by John of God. John of God in spirit, because actually spirit actually incorporates an actual spirit inside him. And the one who blessed these was uh, Dr. Augusto. Um, very beautiful spirit down there. And then I took these to the waterfall. They have a beautiful sacred waterfall where the spirits work with you. And I actually took them to the waterfall and put them there. So they have a lot of power and energy. And they weren't this bright. They weren't this clear. But while I was down there one day, I was assigned um, to do a surrogate surgery for somebody, and I went into the surgery room and had a surgery, and, when I, and my crystals happened to be in my handbag, and when I came out, they were all really crystal clear. So they have been like triple blessed. <laughs> <laughs> and what you do with these is when you hold them over your heart, you, you can actually feel that energy, you're actually connected to the energy and the spirits, and that helps to clear you off. So I actually have some of these, I use them at home. I have my own personal ones that I don't use on other people and I just hold those of my heart and then they actually clear off the energy. But today we're gonna to use these on other people. And so whenever I signed you on, you're gonna actually, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to remove negative energy using crystal. So we'll work with those. So when you come up and uh, I give you a crystal, you'll take that back to your seat. And then after the meditation, we're gonna work with that. I'm gonna show you how to use those crystals. So any questions before we start the meditation? How do you hold it with the left You can hold it with your left hand. Normally, normally I'm right-handed, so I would hold it with my right hand. It doesn't really matter okay. if you're left-handed. Hold it with your left hand. Um, so we'll start the meditation. We'll get you in the groove, bring in the spirits, and then Vanessa's going to come around and tap you. And when you do, come up, take one of the chairs, and as soon as you've had your attunement, please go back, sit down, so we can kind of get it moving. And you will have a, I will have given you a crystal, and you'll take that back with you, and just stay there until. The end. Is that good? Yes. Okay, so if you want to close your eyes. <laughs> 